wastewater is collected at the inlet for of the wastewater treatment works. Sampling device is used to scoop the wastewater and pour it into a 500 ml um, sample collection bottle. After collection is completed, all field staff are required to fill out a field log with location, time and observable conditions that might influence the results of the, of the lab. So we collect about 60 samples each Monday and in the Western Cape. So samples are collected at all 24 wastewater treatment works in the city of Cape Town, as well as four in the Breda Valley district. Various samples are also collected in the Eastern Cape, the Limpopo and Gauteng. This project is about wastewater-based epidemiology. So what we do is we monitor COVID levels or SARS-CoV-2, the virus, in wastewater, of which that's your domestic waste that's coming from your household and also from your industrial um, areas. And it comes here in a 500 ml bottle of which we, we take and then we, we analyze so that we can get the RNA um, that's expressed in the, um, in the wastewater. Then after that, it can be quantified I'm using PCR. I am working on four areas, which is the Cape Flats, Athlone, and um, Zandvliet. And also we are working um, on a project where we are looking um, for wastewater in residences, where we will be able to um, monitor the levels of um, COVID in the residences in Stellenbosch University. This stage is the pre-concentration stage um, step, where we receive the wastewater in a 500 ml bottle, and then we allocate it on these 50 ml um, bottles, where um, after we allocate them, we take them to the centrifuge for it to spin down um, all the particles that are in the wastewater and then that concentrates it um, into um, a pallet. So that's why, that's why we take it to the centrifuge so that everything is concentrated in a pallet and that pallet, that's what contains um, all the uh, RNA, all the viral particles are concentrated into that pallet and that's what we use uh, for extraction and we use this kit for extractions. Um, and then after that we take it to the centrifuge so that it could be centrifuged, um, so that it sediments down and we use also the, the pallet that we see here uh, for that, for the extraction, for the RNA extraction. Yes, it ends at, at the extraction part and then we take it to um, the next lab to uh, avoid cross-contamination. In the next lab, they do PCR in it. Once we extract the RNA from the, the process that she had already explained, so we got those samples, but now we need to amplify the specific region that is responsible for the RNA, the COVID RNA. So we get these samples and we dilute these samples so that we must have same quantity of the sample, I mean the RNA for all the samples. So now I have diluted my samples already. So I'll be taking my samples. Now I'm going to prepare a 96 well plate. So we had these samples and now I'll prepare my samples to run them for the real-time PCI technology because that technology will help us to amplify a particular region of which is responsible for the COVID RNA. So once the samples are done being prepared, we put it in the machine and we have the program that generates the data for us and normalizes the data to our standard. Once the data is generated, we set a baseline and so the sample is considered um, positive for viral RNA if it amplifies over this baseline, so as you can see. And these samples usually fall within the positive control range. And so we get the data from the lab. So we're getting samples on a weekly basis and we're aiming to get the results out within 48 hours. So by 48 hours, each of the samples we have the vital copy number, <coughs> which is the equivalent to the vital load. We then send the data to our environmental health research unit 
and they do what is called spatial mapping as well. So spatial mapping is where the data that we provided, the vital load or the copy numbers of vital per milliliter is converted to the actual population number as per wastewater site and that produces these maps which you can use to monitor on a weekly basis how the virus whether it's increasing or decreasing